Rebecca Vardy spent Wednesday evening with her family at the opening night of Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park, London, taking a break from watching her rival Colleen Rooney on I'm a Celeb. The 42-year-old WAG showed up with her football player husband Jamie, two sons, Finley and Taylor, ages 7 and 10, Sophia, and her daughter, Olivia, who is four years old. Rebecca has begun expressing her opinions about the campmates, first criticizing Colleen, her Wagatha Christie rival with whom she was imprisoned in an infamous slander trial in 2022. At the star-studded event, however, Rebecca was happier than ever as she took an evening off to be with her kids. Megan and Taylor, Rebecca's other daughter, are from past relationships. In addition, she is the stepmother of Jamie's daughter, Ella, age 11, from a prior relationship with Emma Daggett. Rebecca has been getting to know her new columns campmates as Colleen has been acclimating to jungle life. Before more recently attacking BBC Radio 1 host Dean McCullough for cozying up to Colleen on the air, Rebecca said she hoped Colleen was made to eat penis or humble pie in the jungle. Rebecca's comments, however, seem to be selling herself one last time because she won't be given airtime in future and won't help her in the long term. According to public relations expert Nick Ede, he would have advised the former I'm a celeb to remain silent and maintain some dignity. Rebecca Vardy is not helping herself by making scathing remarks about this year's lineup, particularly Colleen, he remarked. Since it feels like this is the last time she will be granted airtime, she is taking advantage of the situation while she can. We would have assumed that she had lessons to learn, but she has a significant bill to pay so she is having to sell herself one last time. She continues to be the target of countless memes and will continue to be the target of many jokes, particularly those from Ant and Deck, as long as the program is in existence. I believe that she could have gained the public support by remaining silent and simply acting with respect, but I also believe that this will seriously harm her already fragile career. I would have counseled her to be quiet and refrain from making bitter remarks, which would have made her appear petty and sarcastic and made her unpopular with the public. IT will ruin her future earnings and big money deals in addition to turning her back into a villain. On the contrary, Nick acknowledged that he felt Colleen was portraying herself really well on TV because of her kind nature and positive outlook. For the first time, we are seeing the real Colleen and learning more about her personality. Therefore, she has sprung out as the clear favorite to win, he said. Dean and she clicked right away and he doesn't hesitate to refer to her as Wagatha. She is demonstrating to the audience that she is much more than a WAG. With her humor and ability to act with a certain attitude, she will also become the meme queen of the jungle. She felt that this was the ideal way to reveal the audience her true self and make them fall in love with her personality. This is an excellent first step towards giving her a voice, and I can imagine ITV executives wanting to hire her for her own talk show or for loose women. All eyes will be on her to deliver because this year's biggest booking is on her. And if day one shows how much airtime she receives, then they have made the right investment this season. When her boat sank, she didn't act diva or have a tantrum. Instead, she considered how she could get to land and assist Dean in getting to camp, demonstrating her grounded demeanor. She will be well positioned to win the show because of her relationship as a team member. This follows Rebecca's second post on the second episode in which she referred to Dean as irritating and said that his frequent allusions to her Wagatha Christie trial were an attempt to secure airtime. Dean, Dean and his cozying up to Colleen, she raged, the so blatantly clear and trust me it will grow boring. When he talks about Wagatha, he knows he will receive airtime because he loves to do it. Since I find him really annoying, I'm actually very happy that he was chosen to go to trial. Mate, let it rest. It won't take long for the general population to become tired of him.